Hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are doing some knitting and I was asked by several folks if I could put together a video tutorial to show you how to do the stitch pattern for the Diana Shrug. And if you want the written pattern, I will definitely link that down in the description box below. But for now, let's go ahead and see how to do this gorgeous lacy stitch that you can easily adjust to fit any project you're dreaming up. So this pattern works in a multiple of six plus four. So for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to cast on 18 plus an additional four. So that would be 22, I believe, if my math is correct. And let's go ahead and do that. So this counts as one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and tilt the camera up just a bit. Hold on a second. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then one, two, Three, whoop, my tail's getting short. <laughs> Four, all right, awesome. Okay, so we've cast that on and now we're going to begin by doing the row one. So we're gonna start by knitting four and we'll do insert our needle now to secure our work, I like to grab the tail and the working yarn and do both of those for that very first knit stitch and then I drop the tail and just continue on with my working yarn. So that was one, here's two, three, and four. We're gonna yarn over, bring that yarn to the front, and then we're going to slip, slip, knitwise, and then go back underneath those, knit those two off the needle, and then just repeat that pattern. Knit one, two, three, four, yarn over, and then slip, slip, and then grab up underneath those two, and knit those, and just continue that same pattern all the way across. There's three, four, Yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and then end with knitting the last four stitches. Okay, and that's the end of the first row. We're going to turn and we're going to simply purl all the way across and I'll show you how that's done. It's just insert your hook, keeping your yarn in the front and we're just going to purl those stitches all the way across like so. I always love seeing how other people knit and crochet. 
I love how these two fiber arts are so adaptable to what feels comfortable to a person. Um, I don't feel like there's any right or wrong way. I think you've got to do what feels right in your hands. Um, kind of like people that hold their pencils and pens all different ways. It's just like some, some ways work for some people and some ways don't. So if you've been knitting for forever and you are working your needles and your yarn different than me, just know I'm self-taught and I kind of just picked up my own style and way and I'm okay with that. All right, so we're coming up to the end. And remember, we secured that tail, so um, we're going to knit, this is really one stitch because we did the tail with it, so you're gonna knit under both of those. What well, looks like two, but it's really one stitch. And you can pull that tight. Okay, so here we are. Um, we're looking good, and now we are on row three. And row three is very simple. We're going to knit four. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna knit two together and that's basically how it sounds. We're just going to knit under two stitches, knit them both together and then yarn over and then start the repeat. Just knit four, one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to knit two together, yarn over, oh my yarn's all tangled up. Ah. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Oh my goodness. This yarn is an Australian yarn and I found it out of Joann's and it is like, it is some of the softest merino like wool that I have found. But it's funny because it acts like a, um, oh my goodness, we are in just a jumbled mess here. It acts like a spring does that make sense it's really weird like I don't know I love it but at the same time I'm like what do I do with you oh goodness I am so sorry you'd think that I'd get the yarn all untangled before doing a tutorial oh there we go okay so we yarned over and then we just knit four again. One, two, three, four. Knit two together, like so. Yarn over, and then just knit those last four stitches. And then the last row of the repeat is just simply a purl all the way across. Super simple. I love, love, love it, whether it be crochet or knitting, when something looks really complex and then you do it and you're like, oh wow, that was really easy. I just, I love that. I absolutely love it when that is the case. And I've got some yarn going bananas over here. But yeah, okay, so this yarn, let me tell you about it while we're just purling along. It's like called Cleck Easton or Cleck Huron. I know I'm butchering it. But it's just, it feels luxurious. And the packaging looks luxurious. And it is on the expensive side, I will say. Like one little cake which I think is about 140 yards, is like $15, which that's a lot, $15. I mean, can you imagine if you wanted to do like a 
a sweater or something, it would cost like an arm and a leg. So I'm gonna go through the pattern just one more time, just so you can kind of see. I'll do it again, cause like seriously, it's just a four row repeat. It's super easy. Okay, let's see if we can kind of get some definition in our stitches. You can kind of see a little bit, we've got the little holes and basically what they'll do is they're gonna kind of zigzag so let's work up a couple more rows so we can see. So we're gonna knit, we're gonna knit four, one, two, three, four. We're gonna yarn over and then we're gonna slip, slip, and then knit. I'm really trying to get into the habit of being more equal in the knitting versus crochet projects that I do because I really do. I love knitting about as much as I love to crochet. Like, And it's funny because I learned to crochet first, I taught myself to crochet first, and I put off knitting for the longest time because I just talked myself into the fact of bleeding that it was just too difficult because I would always hear, oh, if you learn to crochet first, you're going to think knitting's impossible. Or if you learn to knit first, you're going to think crocheting's impossible. And so I just kind of bought into that and was like, it's going to be too hard. And then one day I was, I think I was like looking on Pinterest or something and I, I saw something and there was only a knitting pattern. And I was like, that's it. I'm going to learn to knit. This is ridiculous. And I did. And I was just like, why? have I waited so long? I, I was just in love with it. I don't know. It's just, it's so similar to crochet, but yet so different all at the same time. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Okay. We'll do one more uh, repeat. So we're going to go uh, knit four, two, three, Four. We're going to knit two together and then yarn over and start again. One, two, three, four. Knit two together, yarn over. One, two, three. Four, knit two together, oh, yarn over, and then just knit those last four, two, three, four, and then the last row being a purl all the way across. 
So I say all that to say, if you're a crocheter and you're putting off learning to knit, stop. Just do it. You'll be so glad you did. And vice versa. If you're a knitter and you've been putting off learning to crochet, just do it. You can figure it out. If you crochet and you're like, how do I work with two needles? Yeah, you'll have, you know, two left hands there for a while, but you'll get the hang of it. And same thing whenever you're used to working with two pieces and then going down to one. You can do it. Don't worry. You'll be so glad that you did. I mean, just like the world of possibilities opens up whenever you just bite the bullet and just learn how to do it. I don't know. That's my opinion. You don't have to, I suppose, but I can't imagine you would regret it. I absolutely love them both. Okay, so here we go. Look at this. So beautiful, so lacy, so gorgeous. I just love this. And I used this exact stitch pattern, like I said, to create the Diana Shrug, which is a probably what you would call a blanket shrug because it's huge it like so I'm 5'4 and it goes almost all the way down to the back of my knees like it's super exaggerated um so yes I love it and if you're interested in that yarn this is what it looks like so squishy so soft I just love it I hate the price point of how expensive it is but with the right project it would be totally worth it if you liked this video, please head down below, subscribe, comment with some new projects that you would like to see me do for you. Um, if you have visited the Yarn Hook Needles blog and you've come across something that I do not have a video for and you just aren't able to work through something uh, through the written pattern only, uh, let me know and I will do my absolute best to get a video tutorial put together for you. And yes, also give this video a thumbs up. That lets me know that you like it. And if you don't like it, go ahead, give a thumbs down. That's totally fine. Um, yeah, we have a lot of fun here on the Yarn Hook Needles channel. And we learn a lot, we grow, and I think you will enjoy being a part of our little growing community. And yeah, so be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video.